Hi, my name is Olivier from Activity Messenger. And in this video, we're going to learn how to create a permission slip, uh, send it to parents and notify people who haven't signed it yet. So first off, we have what the parents going to see. So you can have your nice creative design at the top, which you can create in Canva. And then you would put the child caregiver uh, and then what they are actually signing off on. So I can click on I read and accept and the digital signature. So you can add multiple boxes and much more information, different I read and accept boxes, but just kept it simple for here. So I click on submit. What happens is you get a PDF uh, record in your account and the parent also gets a confirmation email with the permission slip signed uh, in by email. So how does it look on the, the creation side? So here we have an easy drag and drop kind of form. You can move things around. If you need more information, you just click on edit and you can add all date of birth, gender, any type of information you need on the child. Uh, and then caregiver, same. If you needed to add, let's say more digital signatures or and wanted them to upload a document before the field trip, uh, for, or if it's a field trip, add more people, let's say another parent, you would just come and drag and drop and create the form that you need for your uh, for your needs. And then if you click on respondents, we can see there's um, the, the participant Harry Potter, we have the signature here. So if I click here, I can go in and download the PDF form, which will then show me the, all the signature and everything the child has, uh, the parent has agreed on. Um, and then from there, there's a few things you can do. So you can share this form. Uh, it every form you create has a unique link. It also has a QR code. So it's very easy for parents to kind of sign it. Uh, let's say somebody hasn't signed it on the day of a trip or on the day that you need it. You can open up your phone to that QR code. So the parent can just scan the phone, uh, scan the QR code and fill it out before dropping the kid uh, or, uh, at the activity. The next thing that could be interesting as well is the being able to uh, send the form. Um, so what you can do is you click on send here. You have the option of sending it by email, SMS or email. Uh, SMS and email, SMS or email. So you would go and select the list. Let's say I take my select the list of, of eight students. Uh, I can then, you know, modify the email and it opens up the link and I can send the waiver. What's interesting as well is I can say, hey, I want to send it to people who have not filled it yet. So you might send this out to parents and a lot of people are not going to fill it on the first try. Uh, let's say you email them. Well, then you can come back and say, actually, this time I want to send an SMS to everybody who has not filled it. And then you can even schedule those out. So you can send an email initially, and then actually I'm going to schedule it out to be on the 19th. And it's going to track who signed it within those seven days and only send it back to the people who have not sent, who have not signed it. So it's easy to really kind of have like a little bit of a drip where people, you know, sign and sign. And then the day of you have the QR code if somebody has not signed. Um, and then what happens as well is you can go into your form, into your permission slip, and you'll see everybody who signed, right? Which is great, but you also can see who has not filled it. So you can take that list of students who are going on that field trip, let's say, and you can see who has not filled the form. Uh, and a few things you can do, so you can send back an email to sign the form, but you can also send it to a colleague, right? And it's gonna give them the list. So let's say you're the administrator and you have somebody uh, with the students at a certain field trip, you can actually text them. Here's the list of the four parents who have not you know, signed yet. And then they have the QR code. So as the parent comes in, they just share it and the signature is there. Uh, and then it's, it's gonna, you know, you're gonna have, you'll be able to ex mass export all those PDF files if you need to print them and bring them on the field trip. So I hope this, this was useful. If you want more information, you can uh, visit us at activitymessenger.com.